weather with Alan Rose. All right, you know, we're seeing the similar conditions down here across parts of El Paso County, Pueblo County, out west into the San Luis Valley, and that is because things are so tender dry in spite of that rain that we saw late last week and the severe weather. So we are under weather alert today because of the fire danger. I-25 corridor, the wet mountains, the sand grays, this is until 8 o'clock tonight. Very low humidity and gusts that could top 30 to 40 miles per hour. Let's take a look at current wind speed gust across the area right now. Strongest across the mountain areas, this darker red indicating wind gusts may be over 40 miles per hour for the sand grays. Pretty gusty at Rye at 25 miles per hour. Salida, you're gusting to 23. Woodland Park right now gusting to 33 miles per hour. And we're seeing gust up over 20 outside in the Pueblo area. Currently in the spring, seeing some breezes, but nothing too terribly strong out there at this noontime hour. 86 degrees outside in town, so we are getting hot once again across southern Colorado. 95 already in Pueblo. We're still in the upper 60s, so relatively cooler in comparison for Woodland Park and Teller County, thanks to the elevation up there. And 88 degrees right now in Trinidad. We have high amounts of tree pollen on the allergy report, medium levels of grass and mold, and generally lower levels of that weed pollen, so some pretty good news there. So look at the bigger picture. This cold front does bring in some sweeping changes moves in overnight into Tuesday morning, ushering in some cooler temperatures for us as we make our way towards the middle of the week. So yeah, the heat we saw yesterday does stick around today. The good news, just one more day of this heat wave, and then we're down about 8 to 10 degrees as we make our way into Tuesday and Wednesday. By the way, that's a dry cold front, so not expecting any rain here in southern Colorado for at least the next three or four days. Now, for the rest of today, we will see a decent amount of cloud cover. Some of that haze and smoke in the air as temperatures continue to climb in spite of the cloud cover. Might see a little bit of rain here across the central mountains. I think we're going to be hard pressed to get any of that moisture east of Park or Teller County through the afternoon hours. Heading into tonight, it's going to be one of those evenings where temperatures will be slow to cool down. And here's the heat that's on the way for the rest of the afternoon. Afternoon. Yeah, back into triple digit territory for Pueblo, La Junta, Lamar will be in the upper 80s around Rye, low 90s in the springs. Lows tonight fairly warm, only dropping down to the 60s and upper 50s. So there's the cool down Tuesday into Wednesday. Then we get warmer Thursday, a little bit of a cool down for the weekend as we do usher in chances for thunderstorms heading towards the holiday. For Pueblo, we go from triple digits to low 90s Tuesday into Wednesday. Then we warm up again before cooling down with rain chances picking up on Friday. Canyon City will see upper 90s on Monday. That's today with the high fire danger down to the 80s for a couple of days. Woodland Park in the 80s on Monday back down to the 70s with thunderstorms picking up heading towards the weekend. We'll be back with more News 5 at noon right after this.